So there's another video update on the game progress and now it's January 13, 2013 so in, it's the new year and I was gonna work heaps on it during the Christmas holidays but then a sudden twist of fate I ended up working or rework on an old project and hopefully tried to finish that off so instead of working on my game I ended up spending the holiday working on another project which kinda neglected this project so it didn't get too much done and it's always it's almost been one month since the last video so I just sort of want to show where the game is up to so let's just quickly have a look okay, so a few new changes here and there but still pretty okay right, so um, we've got some new sort of interface happening so this is just sort of a new experiment to try out because these neons are quite cool and I was sort of researching on interfaces so these sort of interfaces might be the way to go hopefully because they are cool so now that was just a this is just a quick mock to see how it looks like otherwise what's new um yeah if we have a look the, the viruses now are animated so I've added in some nice animations to it so the green ones are sort of swaying left and right the purple one is sort of just wriggling about the red one I tried to animate it but it turned out very disruptive so I did remove the animation for the red one but yeah now they're animated hopefully it looks less static and I was hoping I would animate the nucleus as well but I'm not sure how that's gonna work so maybe that's gonna come or not what else is new we've got a new virus type so now we've got this bomb guy now I don't know what he does but I thought it would be cool to have a bomb guy so this is what he does right now I tap on him once and it ignites and then in about two seconds it blows up yeah so all it does if I tap on him tap on him yeah. They just sort of ignite and blow up, which is pretty cool. Could be useful, and it gives a nice contrast to the game. I think the whole black to it, but I don't know what it does yet. Uh, it could either be either it kills everyone around him, which is a good virus, or it could be a virus that you cannot touch, otherwise you game over, type of virus. So I'm still a bit confused as to what it does, but hopefully eh, I'll figure it out sort of stuck at a game design uh, choke point at the moment not really sure what's gonna go with it but hopefully I'll figure out that soon um, probably the main a lot of time has been spent on something that you probably won't realize but the nucleus actually is different and as you can see so are the, are the virus positioning and so previously we've been using the sphere, the standard sphere which you make from 3ds Max so it's sort of a sphere like this and it goes alright but based on this sphere as you can see the topology slowly becomes thicker and thicker towards the top and hence why previously the viruses actually were very you know towards one point they were getting very very crowded so I needed a sphere that had to be evenly spread and for like three four hours of sphere researching ta -da, we have found the icosahedron sphere and that gives us a nice topology along with a whole other different type of spheres that I researched there's so many spheres but and yeah three or four hours of my life gone into reading up spheres but yeah eventually we get a nice sphere so now this is actually a icosahedron sphere so it's all evenly spaced and because of that we now manually repositioned all these spawn points so that was painstakingly one by one placed or replaced and so we get an even distribution of um, viruses which I think is really important because it now gives this even grid like effect and because of this grid I can do you know you can really tell whether 
you have any virus right next to each other. So let's say for example, I got two creeps right here. Right? So before it was crowded and you didn't really know if they're next to each other or not, but now you can really count it and space and you know you have three here, we have three connected here, so everything makes sense. So that's really cool. Otherwise there's also these cool little blue rings here, so I threw that in just to see how it looked and it looks pretty cool, it looks very computer thing, so we might stay with that. We got a new font happening now because we're all digital, so if you have a look at the top left here, the combo, everything's all, they've got a new font as well, so hopefully that's cool. Which kind of makes the red bubble font now, this bubble font that pops out, kind of too cute. So, I'll keep working on that. Yeah, otherwise, not too much things has happened. Um, that's probably about it for now. And then I've also done some sound work. And all these sounds are also have to be handcrafted. So, I have to go into Audacity and really make some sounds. Along with all of the, every sound, like the bomb sound, they were all done in Audacity and mixed together to form one sound. So, yeah. Sound is a bitch because you have to scour all over the internet. And yay, now we've got a clear thing which had particles. Now, you can see it again, I just have a shortcut, so if I press E, it goes boom. And it does some cool animation. So hopefully, yeah, that's cool. But yeah, that's sort of it for this video update. So hopefully, now that I've stopped working on the other project, I'll resume working on this project but unfortunately I have lost the Christmas holiday opportunity to work on it so that's a shame. Cool, thank you.